Uh, hey guys, so today we're going to create some basic um, patterns around a circle. So let's just go ahead and create any, any normal uh, path we want. And this is going to go kind of quick because I don't have a lot of time before my homeroom gets here. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start off, let me just go ahead and empty out the fill and let me empty out the stroke for these um, circles we're going to make. We're going to make a circle here that's just a circle, just a random circle here, hold down shift. And um, if we want to, for instance, maybe put a star around it, I'll uh, just click off, control, click off this, and I'll see if I can hover over my circle holding down, uh, hovering over the anchor point here, make sure the little pink anchor point shows up. Hold down Alt and Shift and just make a little star here. And I'm gonna fill this star up with say black. And what we'll do is we'll grab a rotate tool here and I'm going to just grab this rotate uh, tool. I'm gonna grab this um, this little uh, hover, uh, this little center point here. Let me just, let me just do, grab this and sort of drag this down. And I'm gonna see if I can't find the center of the circle here. Let me just back this up so I hover over this, I can kind of see the circle. I went a little bit too far there, so I can just drag this up here until I see the, the, the center. It'll snap to it. You'll see a little center kind of pop up here. There you go. Um, I'm going to hold down Alt and click off of the center there. Once again, maybe drag a little bit. Oops. And what we'll do is we'll angle it. We'll say we're going to rotate it 30 degrees, and we'll press Copy. And uh, we'll just Control-D until it rotates around the circle like so. Okay. Um, so that's a, a simple way of doing that. Just um, And then we can just kind of grab all this, and we can make this into a... Let me see if I can't move these onto the circle here. This seems like it didn't quite go right, so that's fine. Um, if I were to say, for instance, grab this and just move this circle slightly. Uh, let me just move this circle here. It would probably line up a little bit more. There you go. Um, all right, so I think I might have uh, accidentally moved that a little bit. It's okay if you know that. Um, okay, so we'll just pull this over this way, and we'll shrink this down a little bit. That's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to get, create your star here. And I'll just make this small, and I'll fill this up with uh, black. And I'm just going to Alt, drag it to the other side. And what I'll do is I will, let me just center these real quick. Uh, right. um, and I'll just go to Object, Blend, Make. And let's go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and make sure you have specified steps, and make sure you have... Uh, you, know, you can have 10 or any number here, but basically I wanted 12 around the star. Um, and I'm going to select right here where it says align to path, and I'll press OK. And what essentially what we'll do here is we'll just grab, make it another circle. And I'm off over here, I'll just uh, make the circle right there. I'll just take off the fill. And what we'll do is we'll select both the circle and the blend, and we'll go to object blend replace spine. Now it, it didn't quite complete its turn here so let me just grab this uh, circle here. I'm going to grab my scissors tool and um, let me just see if I can't just click once on the on the scissors. Basically cut the path so there's a there's a beginning and an end so you'll, you'll have it evenly spaced throughout the beginning and the end. Um, so there's another way of doing that and so as you can see we've aligned to the things that they sort of rotate along with it. Um, that's good too. All right so there's two different ways of making the little sort of circular form there pattern around the stars. Move this over here. Now, as far as creating text, um, what we'll do is we'll just make a circle like so, and we'll get our text tool here. My text tool there, and I'm going to hover over the um, the circle. Now, what, what happens is if you hover over the circle and just click once, it's going to fill up the circle with your text, right? So you'll have a shape. Uh, but if I hold down Alt, you'll see this little squiggly line appear by your cursor, and from here we can just do like you know, all oh, we can make a little little text here, all oh, stars. And for instance, we can just like kind of make that a bit bigger, and we'll just um, center it here, make a little center there, so it's centered. And what I want to do is actually want to align it here to the top. So let me just um, get my move tool here and see if I can grab this little line here and sort of center it until it centers right up there. Oops. We can get it to center, right at the center. There we go, that's it. Um, okay, and so what we'll do is we'll just um, grab the same circle here and we'll just alt drag it so we can make a copy and we'll just, um, just you know, put some more text here. We all, we all shine. And just, you know, something like that, you know, whatever. Uh, and then we'll just once again get a move tool here and we'll just grab this little line and sort of drag it onto the inside of the circle here. Let's see if I can grab this. Drag it on the inside. Okay, we want this centered up like this. All right, let's see if I can pull this over here until it centers up at the bottom. All right, so that's centered up at the bottom there. And what we'll do is we'll just uh, drag this little anchor point here until it matches up. 
center over here. And uh, I want to just um, double click on my text, or I go to text rather, or type, and I want to go to um, type on a path, and then type on a path options, and just click flip. Everything. Okay, that's good. And so we'll have this sort of kind of hanging out here um, inside this. Whatever I want to do, I'll probably just want to drag this out to it, um, oops, hold on alt as well, until it goes over the top there, so that way they're on the same sort of line here, as it were. Um, let's see if we can pull our font down slightly. This one here is 21. I'll make this font 21 as well. Okay, so with that done, um, we have these kind of lines. So we can just grab our stars here, for instance, and just center them here with the um, texts, and yeah, maybe just uh, bigger, like so. I'm gonna change my font here. I don't like my font. I like to change my font. Something like uh, impact. That's always a good one. Tried and true. Yeah. Um, there we go. Impact. Boom. Right. Okay. Um, and so here's here's an example of just you know putting your text on type. So I group this together. I can rotate this a little bit if I wanted to. Um, all right. So uh, that's essentially how you make little patterns around a circle with Illustrator. So um, if you want to change the the type of the shape we used, if you want to change you know obviously your text, you can. Um, but uh, go ahead and uh, make this little shape here. I'm going to delete this over here, and I'll just make this as big as the inside of my artboard. Control G. And I'll just center it here. Window. Window. Align. And I'll align it to the artboard. And I'll just Alt, Shift, and make it bigger. All right, there we go. Fun stuff. Okay, so um, can we see what we produce?